Okay, my last video I talked about improving your chess by doing chess tactics, studying the games of masters, and uh, playing chess. And th in that video I mentioned uh, some beginning opening systems uh, for white, the Kali, and for black, the Karo Khan. So I wanted to start just by discussing these opening systems. And uh, I flipped the board because I'm just going to briefly discuss uh, your opening systems um, as black. And uh, the, the one I had mentioned was the Karo Khan, which um, generally would occur after white plays um, e4. And then I said, whatever move uh, um, white makes, usually it's always going to be a, a king pawn or the queen pawn, so e4 or d4. I said play c6 and go into the Karo Khan. So, um, so if white plays e4, you play e6, and more than likely, um, white is going to play d4, and then you play d5 going into the Karo Khan. And I've made several videos on the Karo Khan, and that's why I said I'd go review these videos for that opening system. And uh, um, at the end, I'll review some uh, full-length games of the um, Karo Khan, or what I'm talking about. But this is the basic system here. Um, and then someone uh, did comment in on on the videos that uh, well actually um, white could play if we back up so I was a little mistaken um, what happens when white plays d d4 well if white plays d4 then the uh, game could actually go into a uh, also into a um, the slaw because when you play um, oops um, c6 um, white could always play c4 then you're going to play d5 and that's actually going to lead lead to the slob so those are the two and the slob is a very good opening or a good opening and uh, so is the Karo Khan so these are not uh, some uh, um, some openings that you shouldn't learn are only going to be good for a short time um, which actually I'm going to classify the Kali as a sort of a beginning opening system meaning as you move up you start getting real good you probably will abandon the Kali for something else so but um, but the Slav defense and the Karakhan defense are very good defenses to learn no matter what your level of chess so um, now I want to discuss the Kali, and I'm going to flip the board here. So the Kali system is uh, starts off by d4, and this is the opening system I recommend for beginners. And more likely, um, white is going to, or black is going to play knight f6. Uh, black could also play uh, d5. It wouldn't really matter uh, because the moves that white is going to play are these moves. Uh, uh, moves like not necessarily in this order, but uh, e3, knight f3, um, knight on b the d2. You're going to castle king side, and usually then this rook is going to come over to e1, things like that. So that's going to be the basic system for for the collie. So let me just go through an example game. I'll be going through several examples, but uh, all right, and through two main variations. But I think there's a sub variation which I seem to play a lot that I just want to play through an example game, as showing how the Kali can be effective um, against an opponent. So, like I've said before, uh, Black. Well, this is uh, Black. Just play Knight F6. You'll play Knight to F3. And just to let you know, uh, for later on in your as wide as a chess um, career or opening development, you, it's, um, we're actually going to play e3 on the next move, but uh, you could play a knight to c4 leaning into the queen's uh, gambit declined, or queen's gambit, um, which is a very popular opening. So this uh, the collie can tr uh, transform into uh, other openings among the, uh, one of them being the uh, uh, Queen's Gambit. So then uh, 
White's, uh, black's going to play d5. White's going to play e3, going along with the system. Bishop to uh, g4, pinning. Uh, if you don't know, sometimes uh, people know that you play the collier a lot. They may play the move um, bishop to f5, which is sort of an anti collie move. So just be aware of that. And maybe I'll cover that in a future video. Knight on b to d2, just continuing with the system I talked about. Uh, e6 by black. Bishop to d3. This bishop is actually looking over at the, um, you know, we've seen this in the Queen's Gambit where this bishop looks along this line at this pawn because normally now black's going to castle uh, kingside. C5. And this is very typical in the collie. You'll see your opponent push or play C5. The move you want to make is C3. That way, if uh, if your opponent advances, you just move back to here. Knight to c6. Castles. e5. Obviously, black wants to move the pawn to e4, forking uh, bishop and knight, and you can't allow that. If you don't know... Usually it's in the collie. You're the one who wants to get the rook over here and then play the pawn push up. But here, um, black has pinned this knight here. And uh, um, immobilizing the knight. And now black's going to be the one who plays e5. Well, obviously now black has to capture the pawn, knight takes. You'd almost prefer to take the knight, but you can't. So what do you do? I found myself in this position um, a couple of times, and the people um, would be tempted probably to play you know the move here, seeing the exchange, and they don't want to get uh, you know weaken their king pawn structure. But that isn't the correct move. This is the reason I I'm playing this game is to show you that almost looks like black's getting the better of you in the collie at this moment but uh, uh, and this is where your many people play the collie go wrong is that they'll they'll play the bishop back to e2 but the correct move is bishop to b5 check and the correct move for black is actually knight on e to d7 and now as um, remember I said a part of the collie is you want to push this pawn forward so then e4, d takes e4, knight takes e4, almost looks like you're giving up the knight. I mean, you'd probably be crazy, because uh, back at this point, it looks like that pawn was for free, right? You're saying, why did white push that when black could just take it? Well, black takes knight to e4, rook to e1. Pending. This is what, and this is what's going to happen: is that the uh, you're going to get material back, but not right away. Rook the one, pinning the knight against the king. Queen the seven. Queen the four. Looks like the queen's getting a little overloaded, having to defend both knights. And it can't do it, and basically the queen cannot defend both pieces. Black's going to castle long, and then the rook takes. So, that is an example game of the calling.